We continue to follow breaking news this morning as crews plan to start demolition sometime today of the Sorrells overpass over I-70 just west of Columbia. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Molly Stawanoga. We start with team coverage. Zola's following updates at the alert desk this morning, but first we're going to start with Megan, who is live at the overpass. And Megan, drivers could see some delays as one westbound lane of I-70 is expected to stay closed. And you're also seeing some eastbound impacts too. Yes, Molly, good morning. With one lane of I-70 westbound shut down under the Sorrells overpass because of a closure due to an accident yesterday. Drivers could expect to see some delays this morning. Now, right behind me, you can see the westbound lane. There's barely any traffic out this morning, so there's no delays just yet, but we're watching to make sure and see if there are any delays this morning. Earlier this morning, I was driving along I-70 and I saw road crews with flashing lights and signs telling drivers to move over to one lane on both sides of I-70. I drove through the construction and it appeared that MoDOT was painting lines on the highway, which we have not confirmed yet whether this is related to the demolition of the overpass. And for drivers who can't take the overpass this morning because it's closed, MoDOT is suggesting to take I-70 drive northwest and then I-70 drive southwest to Stadium Boulevard. And Molly Highway Patrol tells us that the demolition of the overpass will start immediately and sometime today. Molly, I have reached out to MoDOT to see when exactly that demolition is set to start. And I'll be sure to bring you any updates on any potential delays along I-70 under the overpass this morning. For now, reporting live in Boone County, Megan Drakus, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Megan. Highway Patrol says only one side of I-70 will be open at a time during that demolition, which will likely add to those delays. Now